Hello, my fellow space jockeys, and good evening. We are going back to the frequency, and currently I'm stuck on the load screen. Okay, there you go. And we're continuing where we left off. Well, sorta. There you go. I suppose I should take this call. Hold on. We are now on our next caller. And let me actually, hold on, memorize the, uh, nope. I'll take the next caller soon. Just want to see if I can. Hey, Big Shot, hit the button and take the call. Yeah, don't worry. I was just trying to see if I could. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Oh, him. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. wait. <laughs> Morris Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Uh... Leslie left me in charge. driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? Oh my god. I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on air right now. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in, dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teen. They get worse every year. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. I don't think it's you Teen. Understand? That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. They didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Okay. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. Uh-oh. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Oh my god, so yes, I was trying to use my brain. A.K.A. Googling how to do the best ending possible because when my practice run I kind of failed this uh screw it I'm still gonna go by instinct not, not do what I did la last time and uh hopefully not fail and kill get him killed so all right buy him some time I could work exactly it's worth a shot I can hear you you know the son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... You realize how stupid that 
that plan sounds right. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension, plus a plan of the entire office floor, all delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. So? Oh. Don't go anywhere. Well, there he goes. You... you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Oh. I'll go pick up that map, then. Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. All right. I think she's... Oh my god, her face isn't even fucking okay. rendered. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the facts from the machine. Easy. There you go. There you go, Forrest. There it is. This must be it. Uh, extension for the archives. Okay. Let's see. Secure archives. Editors. Now, I was able to save him last. Not save him, but I got pretty close to saving him. I think the hard part was I had him hide somewhere in the cubicles or somewhere that he had a hard time trying to get out of. So, I'll have to figure that one out. Eh. I don't know if there was anything else I needed. Ooh. Oh my god, that door. Hold on. Let me put this over somewhere else. All right. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my facts? Yep. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. Now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Mm. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Shit. You're moving to the archives. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I hope I did the right one already. We'll see how fast he dies. Jeez. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. There we go. Coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV. So he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. Nope. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Calling coming. 
You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm okay, let's there. go. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which mm -hmm. the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Hmm. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Oh, my. Ooh, a secret archive? Reginald Probably not sus. That. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Ah. I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. I mean, it's a small town. It's quite the collection. Very Why small town. Chatterboxes piped down. Jeez. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? Famous last words. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... Dun dun dun. Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Oh god, I'm gonna hate myself. But let's do it! I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. Have to do one plug. <laughs> self-advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. <laughs> Will you idiots focus now? Uh, that was worth it. Radio should that was worth still it. Be here. It should be here in the archives, actually. Let me just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. He hadn't found it yet. Let's congratulate ourselves later. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. Can't get our hopes up. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta be. Yeah. Got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. <laughs> the radio works. If I make it out alive. Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Oh, God. Hold Wait. up. Whoa. Oh. Ah, oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait! We're the radio! We can just be Big brain. Until you're ready. Big brain. If you can do that, then yeah, sure. One eighty nine point sixteen. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self advertisement, there you Nash, go. I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. We gotta like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? He's in the archives. Let's move him to the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? 
I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. So he has to go out that way, and if he goes to the kitchen. Well, let's hope this one. Because last time I did this, it was fairly right. Let's see. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? So I'll, imper I'll impersonate Mr. Russell. <laughs> I'm going to do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here oh, we go. here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal. Whew. I'll turn it all Trying the way to think up. of where to hide him. Hide in the meantime. Under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the killers are going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Ah, uh, okay. Your judgment is. So far now, Fingers crossed, we're not gonna choose his desk. We're gonna try the cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well. All right. Fingers crossed. I didn't save either. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast. I should have, but oh well. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. We're gonna have Got some it. full uh, plan. You can trust us. consequences if it doesn't work again. Jesus. Fingers crossed. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been Jesus. on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! I thought this was Troy Baker. It's a different voice actor. I forgot who it was. I thought I'll get him up again. I don't think he was in Sonic. Maybe he was. Oh God, please. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in. See you in hell, kid! Yes! We just locked up yes! <laughs> it worked! Forrest! Woo. I can't believe that actually worked. Block the door. If I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. Thank oh, God it's over. Not yet. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow. Gallows reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The whistling man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. It's funky, it's groovy, it's stab in the twilight by knife and easy. What what, what a name. The night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank Ooh. God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. Hold on, I'm gonna save that game so that way <laughs> I don't fucking mess up again. Oh no. You're gonna interview me. There you go. You sure about that? It's like a you're celebratory sip of hydration. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. You yeah, like the mystery. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Too bad. Question one. No. Oh. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any... siblings? 
I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Well, that's a sorry for bright us. spot of sunshine. Ah, oh, jeez. Did you do it? Nah, I hate that response. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. Oh. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Ooh. Sorry, I was just trying to be... Mm. It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No, not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Hmm? Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K-Fan regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Understood. I'm on it now. Well, that was the thing. Let me just. The buzzer's on the front door. We'll see you in a bit. There's a way somewhere. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Huh. There's no extra songs and things? Alright. Here it is. Quick save there. All right, we're making good time. Uh, I think it was this. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, roof. Say anything? Look at the little rocket ship. Uh, don't say anything. Let's explore a little here. Top hits, exclusive interview with Billy Yodel. I said Billy, Billy Idol. Okay. Uh, top. Was it good? Ten great tips for outrageous hair. Three double-sided poster. Let's see what what parody names there are. Let's see. Rick Aston, Rick Astley, Madonna, <laughs> YouTube B4, Michael Simpson. Ah ha 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 ha. Dry, dry, dry. Who's that supposed to be a parody of? Hmm. David Stand. Hmm. I'm blanking on the name that there could be. Mirhythmics. Peche. Peche a la mode. Bananarama Man. Durian. <laughs> Said Duran Duran, Durian Durian. Okay, Wama. I'm not gonna pronounce that. And the cars. Okay. I can barely read that. All right. Teeth use. Oh, mouth. Ed in full display. Can I get some coffee, please? Okay. No. I feel like I can feel and smell the must of this. Uh... A tape. Play on air. Huh. Okay. Moody lighting. Let me put this over here. Let's see. Who was there? 
I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Let's turn it up a little bit and, uh... Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What Neither did I. I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, the oh, <clears throat> folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. There you go. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on nine one one. Jesus.